Hello and welcome to your Yakota OT Weekly channel. We are on day three of our wildflower week. So today we are going to make what you see here, this lovely orange flower behind me. This is called the long-headed poppy in English. In Japanese, I'm gonna try not to butcher it, it's called Nagami Hinageshi. This plant came to Japan in 1961 they don't know how it got here, but it is suspected that it was carried on the very famous railways of Japan. That's why you'll notice you'll see a lot of these lovely poppies popping up near the railroad tracks on your adventures throughout Japan. So let's get to it. For this one, you will need orange paper. You'll need some scissors. You will need a yellow and a black crayon. You might need some yellow paint. Um, if you've got it. You'll also need a cupcake holder or a container. I also have a pencil because I think that that will be helpful for me and it might be helpful for you. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way because we'll get a little tricky while I'm drawing. So you're gonna take your paper like this. Mine's a little bit bent, totally fine. <laughs> you're gonna fold it in half like you're making a card for someone. So I'm gonna line up the edges there, just like that, check that out. Line up the edges, and I'm going to smooth the crease. So I'm gonna push down and smooth it. Pinch it down. So to draw your petals, you're gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see a little bit better. You're gonna start at the bottom, and you're gonna come all the way up to the top. So again, you'll start at the bottom and you'll come all the way up to the top. You want it to kind of curve in at the bottom so that when you cut it out, it'll come out to a center. So it looks kind of like that, where it starts at the bottom, it curves up all the way down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be near this shape where it's smaller at the bottom and bigger at the top, so you'll get your nice petals. Now, no two petals are exactly alike, so yours could be different entirely, and that's totally fine. All right, so then you're gonna get your scissors. You're gonna make sure your thumb is on top. Again, you can put a sticker on top so that you can remember where your thumb goes. It's usually in the smaller hole, and the rest of your fingers go in the bigger one. All right, let's get cutting. I'm gonna start at the bottom, also, you want to make sure that your drawing started by the crease of your paper so that when you cut it, you will have two full petals. And you can trim this if you made any sort of mistake while you're cutting that you'd like to correct. I'm turning the paper and cutting down with my scissors, I'm not lifting my elbows or my shoulders to do so. And you'll see when you unfold it, you'll have the two petals, just like that. Okay, now the other one, gotta cut that out. And again, no two petals are alike. So you can make one bigger, one smaller, whatever you want. It's really uh, unique, just like you, and just like the flowers. Okay, I'm all the way to the bottom. You might even hear the train in the background, maybe carrying along some more poppy seeds. Okay, taking my paper back. So now I've got my two petals. One thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, you'll either need some tape or glue. I'm gonna use tape today. So, you're gonna take your tape, and you can do it straight across, or you can fold it underneath, like that. I'll show you that again, because we'll do that one more time. You're gonna put your petals together, and they'll kind of look like a little windmill. There you go. Put that aside for a second, you're gonna get your cupcake holder, your container. You're gonna make that flat, and you're gonna cut out this circle in the middle, but don't get rid of this part. We'll need that for the other part of our project. If you have pom-poms, you can also use that. Now this one's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit of a challenge for cutting, which is good. We're learning and practicing, which is great. Now you have your circle, and then you'll notice that you have kind of like a little collar. 
What you're gonna do with this collar is crumple it up, but first we need to color it. So we're gonna color the bottom, this part here, by making little circles. So you're just gonna do kind of scribble circles with your black crayon around the edges of this circle. So it just kind of looks like that. Then you're gonna put that in the middle of your flower, again using your tape. Check it out when I fold it this time. I've got it sticking to my one finger. I'm gonna fold it, and then I'm gonna pick up the other edge and attach it to itself. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, put it in the middle of my poppy flower, right there, in the middle. And then on this piece, I'm gonna get my yellow crayon or my yellow paint. And you're gonna color along as much as you can. It doesn't have to be any sort of pretty. You just wanna get it as yellow as possible. And you'll see why in a second. So the long-headed poppy is named because the piece that the butterflies and hummingbirds and bees use to pollinate sticks up so it pops out. So we are creating a 3D effect with our cupcake holder. So keep on coloring. Get both sides as much as you can so it doesn't matter which way is top. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly colored in. There can be white spaces. We're just practicing our coloring and we're not using our elbow or shoulder. Your elbow is tight by your side and you're holding your crayon in your hand. Okay, now you're gonna crumple it up and kind of make it pop up like this. So see how it goes up. That is important because that's what this poppy looks like. And you're gonna put that in the middle, kind of smush it. We'll put our tape down underneath. Again, if you have glue, that's also an option. All right, so here's my tape. Roll it up, put it underneath my little center of my poppy flower. Put that down. So now it pops up, you'll notice that. Now the final touch is to use your hands, both hands, your folding skills. You're gonna fold each petal inward and upward so that it comes up like the poppy would. Fold it up and you'll see your poppy flower. Check it out <laughs> if I drop it. Check it out there. And you can tape it to your wall just like mine, or you can put a petal on it. Until next time.